Right, divisibility ones. Two very short ones. 120 from the Mass Camp booklet. Prove that 4 to the n minus 1 divides by 3 for any natural number greater than 1. Same as before, you start off with n equals 1. This time there's no left hand side, right hand side. Oh, so that's that part out of the window. You're going to have to do it all the way through yourself. So, 4 to the n minus 1 would mean 4 to the power 1 minus 1, that's 4 minus 1, that's 3. 3 divides by 3, which means it's true for n equals 1. Right, next part, same as before. Assumption. Assume it's true for n equals any number at all, k. Which would mean that 4 to the power k minus 1 divides by 3. I'll have to just sort of fix this down. Which means that 4 to the k, whoops, it is minus 1, will be 3 times something. Some number m, where m will be some natural number. Call that 1. That's inductive hypothesis. Then consider the next one. Consider n equals k plus 1. So, what of that? 4 to the k plus 1 minus 1. Well, the first obvious thing is I need to call this into play. I'll have to get a k, so take one of the factors of 4 out. So that's 4 times 4 to the k minus 1. That's almost what I want to make a 3m, 4k minus 1. But that's got 4 tagged onto it. So I'll put a 4 onto this one as well then. If I change that into 4 times 4 to the k minus 4, then I would have 4 times 4 to the k minus 1. But I can't just change that to a 4. I could either say change that to a 4 and then correct it by adding 3, which would do it straight away. Or I could say minus 4 plus 4 and still have the minus 1 at the end. And think of it as having added and subtracting a convenient term. You can think of it either way around. Anyway, either way around, that becomes plus a 3 from this part here. Then, 4 to the k minus 1 is 3m, so I've got 4 times 3m plus a 3. That's using 1, which then has got a common factor of 3, 3 to the 4m plus 1, which divides by 3. I'll have to go back up to the top to do that. Oh. In other words, it equals 3 times some other number. It equals 3 times p, for instance. But you could just leave it as 3 to the 4m plus 1, actually. 3 to the 4m plus 1, which divides by 3 since m was a natural number. So that whole thing would be a natural number. Then, as before, true for n equals k meant it was certainly true for n equals k plus 1. And since it was true for n equals 1, then by induction that means it's true for all n, n and the natural numbers, n greater or equal to 1. Now, an alternative to that little introduction of terms to create that factor would have been this. And that line before you introduce that, the inductive hypothesis, you had that 4 to the k minus 1 was to be 3m. That's what you called your inductive hypothesis. And then you had later on 4 times 4 to the k minus 1 to try and convert. Well, another thing you could have done is just rearrange this one to read 4 to the k as 3m whoops, plus 1. And then substituted that into that. So I've got 4 times 3 to the m plus 1 minus 1. Still using 1, just in a slightly different way. Which gives me, as before, a 3 times 4m plus the 4 minus 1, which is 3 times 4m a plus 1. Which, as before, divides by 3 etc.